Hey guys, so this is gonna be a good week. I've received a lot of new stuff. I have uh, new fans, more RAM, and uh, I'm receiving also some water cooling parts, so I'm gonna make some videos on that. But today I have my new second screen. So I have my television, which is there, and usually I have my laptop there. But I'm gonna put my new screen there, which will be a 21 by 9 ultra wide. Ultra -wide. So uh, that's gonna be dope. It's uh, really difficult because the PC is there and I gotta run the cables clean. Uh, that one is just a power extension I use for my iPhone, but I run my cables clean and then back there and I gotta get it there without losing um, from HDMI 2.0. So I'm not sure if my uh, extenders work with HDMI 2.0 because this one is a 75 hertz screen. So yeah, I hope that works. I'm gonna test it now. I do not have my um, display port to HDMI converter because this only runs on HDMI. So I'm I'm receiving that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, for now I'm just gonna test it on my uh, on my I on my uh, TV. So I'm gonna replace that one temporary and put the TV there, uh, the screen there. And I'm gonna make a video on how I like it and how it runs, and how it performs, and what you should note, and uh, how, if it's a good purchase. So yeah, let's unpack this. I think since I'm getting a lot of new stuff. I'm gonna review a lot of them, so I might also review the parts of my computer, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I like how that looks, the format. So, this is really a widescreen, damn. That's the back side, which I'm never gonna see. And here is oh, it's uh, anti gloss. Oh, that looks really awesome. That's really cool. I'm quickly gonna fit it. Oh, that might actually work. I may. I have to move my TV a bit, but that actually works. God damn, this thing is dope. It's an anti reflection screen. I didn't know that, but that's really good. So there's the screen. I'm gonna turn the light on. So this is the 2017 model, the 59A, 29 inch, 21 by 9, it's a little over full HD, it's really cheap, amazingly cheap, it has a USB 3 point something, it has an HDMI and an audio out, it also, oh this one I don't think comes with speakers, oh it does come with speakers, I can see the speaker hole, so this one has speakers. This is the 2017 model of the version that many people already bought, but the empty gloss is pretty dope. So I'm gonna set this up. I'm not gonna sh video how I install it and stuff, and then I'm gonna show it running. But I won't be running it as a second screen for now. I'm only as a test screen because I don't have my cables that I need. So from what I understood, some people getting turned on by this noise. So I'm nobody to judge. Whatever floats your boat, but. That's looking really clean. I think that's it. Ooh, and I got just a shock. Oh, there's more. More pleasure for you, so. Oh, it goes all around. So that's that. As you can see now, you can see the matte coating with the reflection of my light. I uh, This thing is big and wide. It's almost as wide as my TV. My TV is 37 inch. Well, this is 29 inch, inch, so it's not that bad, but I like that it's like not that high. I think I'm gonna like this because um, I had my laptop all the time there. So my screen was actually pretty like the tiny, so I'm pretty used to that. But this one is just wider. It's just as high, but just wider. And I like it, I really do. So yeah, I'm, g I'm gonna think, it's like useful because I can put like a SoundCloud and Spotify here, and maybe YouTube here, and on my 
TV, I can play a game if I would like, and for Breath of the Wild, I could play ultra wide on the screen. So I'm gonna test that out. That's gonna be sick. I already have the graphics pack. So yeah, let's uh, run this. This thing looks amazing. The colors are really good, and I I can't believe this. I'm running my HDMI from back there with two extension cables. One is a very cheap extension thing here, and another one is down there, which is a better one. But look. With that, oh wait, I have to flash on, be right back. With that cheap cable, I'm running at its resolution at 75 hertz, without any expensive stuff, so that's really dope. I can just use this extension cord and get to 75 hertz. Another thing, I threw on the highest of the 21 by nine, so it's at 4K 21 by nine. I don't think my 970 will like it, but I have Breath in the Wild in the background. I haven't been able to get the sound on. I'm not sure if it has speakers. It looks like it, but uh, look at this. It's so big, my camera can not can barely just hold it. I gotta configure my controller and then I'll show some gameplay. I will be recording it like this because you will see it on a 1080 screen in full in full screen then. and if I put it on record it with my screen at oh the picture quality is so good if I record it at 21 by 9 and then upload it to YouTube it will be forced to 16 by 9 so that makes no sense you have to see it like this so this is looking amazing so uh, we're using the clarity pack with a 21 by 9 ratio. I'm running 30 FPS. Do keep in mind I'm only running 8 gigs, so there will be some micro stutters from the shader cache, but... Wait, why did it fall to? Wait, what? Did you see that? It fell through the ground. Ha! That's cool. So yeah, as you can see, it's really looking good. The colors are really good. They're looking better in reality because my camera, of course, gets it a little bit off. Let me try to get the exposure a little better. I think this is more accurate. Yes, this is how reality... No, it, it's a little bit... Yeah, it's pretty close. So uh, as you can see, this is per, even with this resolution, my PC can run it above 25 FPS, no problem. Um, this is one of the heavier areas too, and I think if I would go to like, let's just try the desert out because we all know the desert runs really good. Um, damn, 60 FPS. I'm really running 60 FPS right now. Oh wow. Yeah, I need a new CPU so I get the 60 FPS pretty much everywhere. This uh, computer I built can run a 77k. I'm whoa, I'm running really good FPS right now. I'm running 50. Why? And that at, at a higher resolution than I usually play 53 FPS. Amazing. And I have to say, it does look more fluid than on my TV when I had 50 FPS. It only happened once before, but not like randomly. Damn. I do not regret buying this monitor, I have to say, because I was a little bit worried with the 21 by 9 and how it looks, but it's, it's amazing. Now I have my big TV to play games normally on, and for like Breath of the Wild, which you can play in 21 by 9 you can do that. I could like uh, multitask something on the TV and stuff. It's uh, pretty cool. I blew the horn. Even though there's no audio yet. Wait. Uh, let me think of something. <laughs> that only cost me one heart. Well. Wow, this is really cool. I'm I'm gonna be one happy fella when I install my 16 gigs of RAM and will be gone of uh, will be rid of the micro stutters that I get occasionally. So uh, yeah, this build is almost complete. I'm gonna got to install the RAM. I got to um, get the water cooling parts all. 
I didn't even buy tubing yet. I have not decided what hard tubing I'll get because some people say like the aqua cool tubing does not work with this paste and bl and there's a new cooling paste that comes out from Alpha Cool, I think. I'm sorry, Alpha Cool. It's the called the Vu and I really want that. It's perfect. It looks exactly like I when I thought of water cooling, there was like this thing in I had in my mind and it was exactly this, but it hasn't come out yet, so I'll have to get that, so uh, I'm not in a rush with the water cooling. I will install it eventually. I have a uh, new ring uh, coolers from Thermaltake, so my, my oh, I'm gonna wrap my radiator too. Only the sides, so don't freak out. But I'm gonna do that too. It's gonna be cool, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna end the video. This is amazing. I'm still running 50 plus FPS right now. Crazy. I'm gonna enjoy this. I have to say, there are some. It, the black level is not as good as on my television, but I can configure the black color, so I'm gonna do that. These are these are just the stock settings, and um, the reds are much more vibrant than on my TV. There are some colors that just pop a little more on this than they did on my. But you have to think about my TV is from 2011, so I do not expect that um, modern 2070 monitor, even though it was really cheap, can uh, outperform my 2011 TV. That's pretty obvious, but uh, yeah, dope. I'm stoked. Uh, this I might consider actually getting a new TV then, because um, this, yeah, I'm not going to do that actually for now. Maybe in the future, but that's not a rush. I already have one new screen that looks amazing now, but... Uh, this motivates me for like a crazy OLED TV or something. Those look amazing too. I do not like the green on this one. It's not the same green as my TV had. This green from the circle is not the one I like. I, I'm not sure if this is more realistic. It could be, but it's not the one I like. But uh, yeah, 55 FPS, <laughs> it's amazing. Well, thanks for watching this video. I might make a review of this monitor when I have used it for like one month for something and I have configured it all and how it works and how it works for me in reality together with my TV. If having one 21 by nine and one 16 by nine big TV is uh, actually working together good, even though I think it actually should. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fly off and then fly out of the video, so. Bye.